Hi everyone. So this is very important questions related with AWS Lambda and uh, let's talk about it. So first question is what is AWS Lambda? So Lambda is basically serverless computing. It automates the process with the help of other services like S3, EC2, Athena, and etc. So it is very less expensive as compared to EC2 instance or any other service because there you need to manage and uh, here you just need to roll up a Lambda function and it will start working. Just you write down the programming by using any language like uh, Python, Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, Ruby, Go, and PowerShell. These are the languages which it supports, okay? Now, next question is how to execute a Lambda function. So basically Lambda, AWS Lambda, if you talk about, you can execute it by using five pages. So these are the options, like you can go to AWS console and you can go to Lambda console and you can just uh, like uh, trigger that Lambda function by providing some key and value parameters. Then another is by calling the Lambda API. Another is like using Boto3 code by, like in Python and by using AWS SDK or CLI and toolkit, these are the various ways you can execute a Lambda, okay? Next question is, this is very important question. Many interviewers ask this multiple times, like uh, what is the limitation of AWS Lambda? So here we talk about like uh, the deployment package is like limited to 50 MB. If you want more than that, then you need to um, like share, uh, is, save it in the S3 location, then mferral disk space is limited to 512 MB. As the Lambda function will take longer time if you want to execute a longer package or large package size, okay? So execution time is like 15 minutes. After that, Lambda will time out. So if you want to perform a more like a, a task which will take more time, then you need to go for other services or you need to do Lambda chaining, like uh, multiple Lambda you will connect together. One Lambda will produce some, like uh, do some processing. It will provide some output. That output will be utilized by another Lambda that we call it Lambda chaining. Another is, the memory range is from 128 MB to 10 GB. Okay, so these are the limitations of AWS Lambda basically. Then they ask, like interviewer asked, what is layering in Lambda? So Lambda layer has nothing but packaging of libraries and project dependencies, which required for Lambda function. It will be helpful in reducing the size of uploaded deployment archive. It's nothing but a, like a archive file, dot chip format, in which you need to add all the packages. Like you want to add a library like Pandas, you want to add a library like PyMySQL, which is not available on Lambda. Like Pandas is available, or I'm not sure, but yeah, you need to package it, and then you need to move it to the Lambda layer, okay? Now the question is, what is difference between EC2 and Lambda? So here we talk about like, uh, you are basically differentiating serverless and managed computing because EC2 is a managed computing and Lambda is serverless. So in EC2, you need to manage the server, but not in Lambda. Lambda was just, you need to like create a Lambda function and you start using it. Then if you talk about security, then Lambda is better because AWS manages the security of Lambda. While in EC2, you need to do the patching. You need to install the patches uh, manually or by doing some like fleet manager task, you can do that. Uh, then another is like uh, Lambda gets time out by 15 minutes, but EC2 is a server, like you manage server. You need to uh, stop it. You need to terminate it whenever you want. Okay. And Lambda dependency can be stored maximum of five to LMB, but in EC2, you can additional storage you can utilize by using EBS or any other locations. Okay. So another more important question, like once you go for data engineering interview, they will ask you like, what is the difference between AWS Glue and Lambda? So AWS Glue is an ETL framework which consists of different services like glue job, glue cr crawler, metadata store, okay? While in Lambda, you have Lambda functions only and you have multiple services uh, which are related with Lambda functions, okay? So in Lambda, it will get dumped out after 15 minutes, but glue job will complete the task, then only it will complete. And glue job, uh, if you want to, is like, uh, this is a separate question also, like they will ask you what, how is the way like you can install the dependencies, Python related dependencies in glue. So the answer is you can go to glue job parameter sections. There you need to write, add the Python dependency in the key value pair, like key, you need to provide the name of the Python dependency in the value you need to provide the wheel file locations, okay? Now, another is glue support distributed computing like Apache Spark, which is very like famous distributed computing, cluster computing, where you can um, run multiple tasks like big data stuff you can do and parallelism you can achieve, okay? So these are the differences between AWS Glue and Lambda. Now, this is also a more important question, like how much amount of memory Lambda function can utilize? So as we have previously discussed, like uh, Lambda can work on a small amount of memory, but yeah, it was before 2020, like in, uh, in December 2020, they come up with the update that now Lambda customer can provision uh, Lambda function with a maximum of 10 GB, like 10 to 40 MB, it will be 10 GB. Okay, earlier it was uh, like 3,008 um, MB only. So it now it become three times more. Okay, if this uh, came after like uh, December 2020, okay. Now this help workload like batch ETL, uh, like extract transform load and uh, media processing application perform memory utilized uh, like uh, operations at very scaling, okay. 
So these are the very important questions related with Lambda, which ask by more frequently repetitive in the interviews. If you need more such kind of questions, then comment down below and subscribe our channel. And thanks for watching us.